New at five, evictions now a threat for people in public and private housing. A break was put on them as a state locked down because of the pandemic, but that's now expired. News 2's Kate Prestack found out what you can do to protect yourself. While evictions are set to resume today, local organizations want you to know that if you receive an eviction letter from your landlord today, you do not have to leave immediately. Out by tomorrow, that's what some landlords are telling people, according to Otha Meadows, president of the Charleston Urban League. He says his organization has been taking calls all day, but that the decision isn't up to the landlords, but the magistrate. The only way that you can get evicted is if you receive an eviction, an official eviction notice from the courts uh, and it is delivered by the sheriff's department. Meadows going on to note, if you do receive a notice, there's an important first step you need to take. Contact the court. Uh, on that eviction notice, uh, there's a phone number and that phone number is there for you to contact the court to make an appointment for a hearing. Uh, what that allows you to do is go to court, explain uh, to the judge uh, what your situation is, and from that, uh, a, a judge will make a determination on what remedy uh, is available to you to avoid the eviction. And while the Urban League is able to offer some assistance to those who fall into their wheelhouse, it is not for the long term. Adding that while circumstances around COVID-19 are unprecedented, they are unprecedented for all. Well, on the other side of this equation, there are landlords who own properties, they have bills to pay, they have mortgages to pay. And so, uh, you know, we have to, uh, you know, just try to understand both sides of the equation. We we reached out to the state to better understand if there were any last minute moratoriums in place for today. They did not return a request. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestack. Count on two.